Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ezra. Today we are going to be fishing the backyard pond with with uh, swim baits. I got two different colors this time, so we're going to be fishing. This is what the the swim bait looks like. I got I got this one in green. I got uh, a couple other ones in different colors inside my room and my tackle box. But I figured we would put this to the test and see if we couldn't get see if we can't get bit on it. This swim bait looks pretty juicy, so the fish might go after it. They might they might think it's like a bait fish. I don't know what these fish are gonna be thinking, but I got two I got two swim baits. I got both of them out the same color. I got this I got this swim bait. It's a nice green. So we're gonna probably gonna throw this one. Depends on if we get bit on this swim bait. I mean this one's like a light greenish color, so they should they should maybe bite this. They might, but right now we're the conditions are windy. The water looks pretty pretty good. And uh, it's a pretty hot day out here. Really good day to do some bass fishing with these uh, swim baits. But uh, we're gonna put them to the test and we'll start fishing and see maybe we might catch some fish. Let's just get down to the bottom of what we gotta do today, so. All right guys, we're gonna start fishing. So the wind is actually hitting me up against the bank where I can't paddle out further. So we're gonna be fishing with the first spinner bait I showed you guys on camera, this one right here. It's like a super dark greenish color. And we're gonna start throwing this around and maybe we'll get bit. And sorry if my voice kind of sounds cracky and, and messed up. I kind of got like a stuffy nose. And uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. So I'm just going to throw this spinner, this swim bait around. I mean, so see if we can't get. Uh, I, don't, I doubt we're going to get bit on this thing. I haven't thrown a swim bait in quite a long time. I've, I've always fished with other baits, but never... But never really any like swim baits or any sort of sort. So that's something I need to start doing. Got a little bit of grass, but yeah. I'm gonna, I, ju I adjusted you guys a little bit. You guys were crooked. The grass is looking pretty healthy, so that's a good sign. These hooks are pretty sharp, so that's so that's pretty good. So, you know what? This spot's really not producing any fish, so I'm gonna paddle up to the next spot and uh, try to catch some fish, maybe. All right, guys, we made it to the next spot. <clears throat> this right here, we're hu we're hugging up against the bank. That way, we could kind of dodge the wind here. I'm gonna try my best to. It's gonna be kind of difficult difficult at the same time to dodge all this this wind so far I've been getting no bites so I mean the spinner bait this I'm, oh my gosh what I keep calling the spinner bait I mean the swim bait it really isn't getting any much much bites I figured the fish would just come after it just like that but 
I don't think they're really wanting a swim bait because I haven't been fishing in probably about almost a week and a half that that I don't really don't know what the fish are after or what what bait they want so that's gonna make it even more harder so yeah I don't really expect to know what these fish bite all the time but a lot of times they'll bite Guggen baits throughout the history of me fishing this pond I've thrown a lot of soft plastics a lot more than any hard baits I've ever thrown maybe but I've always thrown spinner baits jigs uh, bandito bugs in every color I could throw the I, I got I almost like I fished with every color of the bandito bug down here and yeah I have a big relationship with this pond but we, we, we both got our separate ways that's just that's just how it is now and of course I just I'm at the bank again because this wind is pushing south side and it won't stop pushing me it's just, it's just, it won't stop pushing me around so you just gotta battle the wind I gotta get this grass off here oh there's no grass okay I got hooked on grass and I thought I got some Just look at the action on this thing. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that's what the action looks like on the spinner bait. Oh my gosh, I mean the swim bait. I'm, I, I'm getting so old I can't even remember what baits I'm throwing. Pretty healthy grass. This spot, this spot seems kind of like calming, is where you won't see, you won't hear any fish jumping, no bait fish moving. It's just nice, cold, hot, windy waters. That's all that we're getting today. So we're gonna start paddling around and maybe we can find a decent spot to catch some fish. If not, then we'll just toss this bait around and just enjoy fish you know fishing's not all about catching fish I also got my gook and pliers with me I'll show you guys I got my gook and gook and squad pliers you, it, this is like a, a multi-tool all-in-one it's pretty much a knife it can cut stuff and it can pull stuff and and help you out this right here this little thing right here, this this I like that. And it's got these nice grips, and yeah. And I've had these Guggen pliers since the day I had my I bought my I got my rod, this Guggen rod. I've been fishing with it a lot, as much as I can. I'm trying to get off this bank. This wind is really pushing. It's hard to get around. So I'll see you guys when I find a decent spot. Hey guys, we made it to the next spot. We're gonna, I'm still throwing the the swim bait, the same swim bait I've been throwing. We're throwing this sweet succulent swim bait. Right now the wind is really getting bad, so. I don't know how long we're going to stay down here, so.
Right now I'm docked on the side of the bank right here. Um, the wind has got me pushed right here, so it's going to be hard to get around and maneuver my boat. So I'm pretty much stuck right here on the side of the bank. It's like I'm I'm docked right here. I parked my boat right here, so try to that? when I cast it I must have hit the back of the boat. So far I haven't gotten any knocks or any bites yet. I figured the fish would probably move up or or get on the beds or whatever they do. But uh yeah, I haven't seen any signs. Let's get a water temperature because if it's wet Oh yeah, this water is cold. It's cold as ice. <clears throat> and maybe and maybe that's why the fish are aren't, aren't moving because the water temperature is pretty cold. And that tells me that the fish are probably either moving or either stuck where they are. Maybe they are moving. I don't know. They're, pro they're probably hiding somewhere. So I probably need to. Buy I probably need to throw like probably something shiny with blades on it. With a, maybe like a a buzz bait or spinner bait. But I didn't really bring any other baits, so that's that's pretty good. I mean, every time I come down here to fish this, fish my backyard pond, it's always cold. It's always like cold, and and the wind's always blowing down here, and that's why I either catch fish or sometimes on hot, cold days, or maybe it might. Usually in the morning when it's like really cold and stuff, the fish might like bite more better, but I don't know. Yeah, hopefully that audio is the audio is probably garbage, but this right here is putting on a pretty pretty good action right here. I like I like the body style on this thing. It's they barely put in a lot of work. Let's see what let's see if there's any info. Oh yeah, here's a word on it. There's a, actually a there's some words on it. I really don't know how to pronounce that, but whatever that means or. I don't know if that's the bait company that made this uh, swim bait, but it looked pretty, pretty cool. We're gonna fish for a couple longer for probably 20 minutes, maybe move around. This wind is really whipping, so it's, it's kind of kicking our butt. So and see, as you as you guys see, I'm stuck up against the bank. I can't go anywhere. So if I so if I paddled all the way out there, I wouldn't really get anywhere, but yeah. We're going to continue to fish. Well, guys, I've been fishing for about 20 minutes. I didn't catch a single fish, so I'm going to continue fishing off camera and hope you guys enjoyed this this probably short fishing adventure, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next adventure. Peace.